Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Today we're going to do something different. Um, normally we'd be, you know, the channel's full of record players, but today we're going to have a look at uh, how to take the drive unit out of a Riga speaker because it's not as straightforward as you would have thought. Um, a lot of speakers, and if you go back to the 1980s, um, a lot of speakers like Lynn, Riga, uh, Royd, various brands like that used to seal in the drivers. Um, it's not quite as important nowadays because most speakers nowadays have got a sort of ported designs. I mean, this is a ported design, but um, it's still got sealed in drivers. Um, and actually quite quite sort of interesting to try and get out. So uh, just going to show you how to do a few sort of options of how to, how to do that. Um, that's it really. This is a, if you're wondering why it's bright green, uh, this is an RS5. Um, this series of speakers was available in colours and usual wood finishes and that sort of thing. Now the, the, the new RX5 hasn't got any, any options, unfortunately hasn't got any options of colour. But um, but yeah, I think it looks nice and they used to do a bright yellow, there was um, a purple, uh, I think they did pale blue. The, the turntables as well, the actual um, like the RP3s and things like that were available in different colours, or P3s, I can't remember it. I should know this but I can't remember. But yeah, the turntables used to be available in colours as well. Uh, but now Riga are very much sort of black walnut, um, yeah, very, various sort of wood finishes but no colours. So right, I will, uh, I'll reposition the, the camera and we'll have a look at how to, how to remove a driver. Right, so um, these are held in, it's this driver we're going to have a look at, partly because if you can see it's sort of um, been quite seriously overdriven by the look, it's actually come apart. Um, I mean these drivers, if you remember the Roy, Roy Loudspeaker company, um, Joe Ackroyd, who was a, the owner, made all these own drivers and he actually collaborated, or Riga collaborated with Joe Ackroyd to make their sort of first range of speakers and um, this driver is very much like the old Roy drivers uh, still. I mean they, even the drivers they're doing now are actually quite similar to, to the Roy drivers but they've, they're a little, they've advanced quite a while I suppose. Um, these are very, very clear, I mean, they're a paper cone, they're very, very clear, very natural sounding drivers, but they don't like going, they don't like being played loud. To be fair to, to, be fair to these speakers, actually, they, because of the clarity and you know, presentation of them, you don't feel the need to, to, to play loud. Uh, they just sound great, you know, it's low levels and, you know, they sort of do that, do the thing without being thrashed, really. So it's not, it's not as, bad, as much of an issue as you would have thought, really. But anyway, um, four screws, these are Torx head. Uh, not sure what size they are, my key hasn't got a size on it, but they're, yeah, Torx head. These two, uh, I've got a little extra uh, piece on there, which is for the uh, clipping the grill, the third one's down here. And uh, so the grill sits on that and just put, push it onto it. So if we take everything out. Well, the reason for sealing drivers um, seems a bit sort of overly, sort of, you know, over the top really, to sit, seal a driver in. But actually with, the 1980s, 90s, whatever, a lot of, a lot of speakers were sealed box. Um, and if the box isn't sealed, the drop off in performance is quite major. I mean, it's quite a lot of the smaller. And I used to do a lot of sealing up drivers on things like acoustic research speakers and some of the older KEFs and missions and things like that, which the, you just improve, you were just improving the sound of the speaker sort of massively, actually, at the time with a sealed box. But actually, when you, when you listen to ported speakers if you seal the drivers in it does improve even a ported speaker because I suppose it's stopping any if you've got any leakage around here with a seal box obviously that's a bad thing but also with a ported speaker any leakage around here is actually taking away energy from the port so and it's it's altering the sort of response of the drivers and the cabinet and everything so it's a good seal is 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 great really except when you come into a situation like this and you want to replace the driver so now, um, I mean, there's a few options here. I mean, it's, it's, there's no way this is coming out. It's still completely glued in. Um, I mean, the thing you do not do is get your screwdriver down the side and start trying to lever it, which I've seen a lot of people do, and you end up with big gouges all the way around and whatever. Um, you can also, if the driver is completely destroyed like this, I mean, it's not completely inconceivable to take the, co take the cone out, get a pair of mole grips on the actual chassis of the driver, slightly distort it and then you'll find it'll just pop out but it's not something I really would like to do particularly um, there's quite a certain amount of risk involved with it um, 
the best way to do it really is to find a screw of the right sort of diameter. I shall do it here. And we just screw a screw in. Not too far, just enough till it bikes. And those have, there's a few ways of doing this. You can either always protect the cabinet, put a piece on to protect the cabinet, and find yourself some really good quality long nose pliers, which people will cringe at this, but you can lever it like that. That, that can bring it out. Um, I've seen people sort of lever from this point, but really, um, if you slip, you're going to cause all sorts of untold harm. Um, next best thing to do, which I will just leave you for a second because I've forgotten a vital component to this. Um, there is a Riga tool for it, which any Riga dealer should have. And here it is, um, <laughs> in Riga green. But basically this works in conjunction with, with that. Um, put something on to protect the speaker. And you'll, if you just locate the end piece in with a screw, just give it a bit of a push. Just basically use the leverage to pull the screw out, because I didn't quite do it far enough. Right, just a bit more. It's a bit sort of hit and miss to a degree, but it just, you can hear it going. That's it. Just a bit more of a push. You can get your fingers out. There you go. That's the driver out. And that's the phone ringing. Okay, so there you go. So that's how you take the driver out onto the phone. Right, yeah, I hope that was, uh, hope that was helpful. Um, slightly curtailed by the phone ringing, but um, the shop's open at the moment, so we just opened up after lockdown, so things are, things are quite busy actually at the moment. So. Um, yeah, just managed to find a few minutes just to just to do this video. Um, yeah, that method works works well actually. It's just find if you just find a screw that just just bites into the, into the chassis, and then if you you can either make up a tool or like I say use pliers if you if you've got a pair of pliers you're not too not too concerned about to lever it out. Um, but like I say you'd have to use something you have to use something as a um, like a seesaw effect if you need something to put under it and always protect the cabinet because you can crack the cabinet because there's quite a lot of force particularly if it's now like an old lin like a lin cans and things like that the amount of force you need to get those drivers out uh, is tremendous so you need to really protect the cabinet um yeah i hope that was useful um we're quite like i say quite busy at the moment we've got a couple of couple of rigas in um 90s rigas um one's dead the other one just needs a service um it's actually interesting they've still got its original cartridge on this one um, old R100 cartridge from 1982 and it's st still still the original cartridge and stylus so um, that should be interesting still works but they just you'd find when they get to that sort of age they just lose all the lose all the will to track somehow but anyway uh, I'm, I'm intending to do a video on on cartridges actually at some point but uh, that's probably wait a week or two until we, we calm down a little bit in the shop so uh, so yeah um, thanks very much uh, if you like what we're doing just give us a like and don't, don't forget to subscribe because that's that's really helpful actually if you can sub subscribe um, I will put the, the phone number and email address along the bottom of here um, yes see you soon um, not quite sure what we're going to do next need to do the, the the p6 p8 p10 comparison but again that's it's quite a takes quite a bit of time to set up that one so we've not not done it as yet but uh, the decks are here but we just need to um, come up with the time to do it really so anyway thank you very much see you soon